Uh, hello. Um, I keep going on about all words. Um, and when we look at the oil embargoes, uh, which were trumpeted a few days ago about um, Europe, uh, we've got the member states with the exception of Hungary. Um, Hungary, of course, has been importing a huge amount of oil from Russia. Um, in fact, I think Hungary amounts, uh, accounts for about a third of Russia's uh, supply of oil to the EU. Um, now, despite the fact that the oil comes through the same pipeline, um, Hungary is going to continue receiving that oil, but Poland and Germany will not, and will stop doing so by the end of 2022. Well, you know, really, uh, if this is an embargo, it should stop immediately. Um, so it's an embargo with so many caveats, it's hardly effective. And when we look at the American version of that embargo, according to the Wall Street Journal, oil traders have been finding ways of circumventing the American embargo um, and um, shipments of Russian oil have been arriving in New York and New Jersey um, via Indian refineries all the way through May. So once again, you know, we've either got a concerted effort where we are saying um, we're going to apply economic pressure to Russia or we haven't. I personally take the view that economic pressure is tokenism and is not necessarily going to have much effect on a... Um, uh, on on um, Putin and his cronies, who have already ferreted away so much money that it really doesn't matter. The only people we are hurting with economic sanctions are ordinary Russians who have been fed a diet of propaganda and really don't know what is going on. Uh, we would be much better off spending our efforts convincing ordinary Russians that this is an evil and abhorrent war, rather than ratcheting up sanctions, which probably are not going to work. All the sanctions do is confirm the propaganda which is being put out, that the West is being aggressive towards Russia. We should not be aggressive towards Russia. We should be aggressive towards Putin and his cronies, and that is our target. And at the same time, we should be supporting Ukraine and, um, and ensuring that Ukraine retains its sovereignty which is its right. I think there's a third thing that we should be doing, and that is putting forward a view which unfortunately